In this tutorial we will learn about object tracking. So, what is object tracking? Object tracking is the task of automatically identifying objects in a video and calculating trajectories of each individual object. Object tracking is often used in surveillance fields such as automatic number plate recognition. The difference between object tracking algorithm and usual object detection algorithm is that usual object recognition algorithm does not distinct objects of the same class. Whereas object tracking algorithm gives a unique ID to each object and tracks it. Now let's see how the object tracking algorithm works. Here we make a few assumptions. The first assumption is that the detector produces a detection per frame for every object to be tracked. The second is that detections of an object in consecutive frames have high overlap rate. Mathematically, an overlap can be expressed as quotient of intersection and union. As an input, detections at each video frame are used. Here, DF denotes the detections at frame F, DJ the J the detection at that frame. Here is a flow chart of the algorithm. Firstly, initialization is done. TA is an array of the active tracks and TF is an array of the finished tracks. For each frame in the sequence, for each active track, only the best matching, unassigned detection is taken as a candidate to extend the track. If intersection over union is more than threshold value, the best matching detection is added to the current active track. Otherwise, if tracks without at least one detection with a score above sigma h and with a length are shorter than t min, the current active track is added to the finished track array and is removed from active tracks array. Then, for all the detections which are not associated with current tracks, a new active track is created and inserted into the active track array. Now let's see this algorithm in action. We have two pictures of a cat. As we move the left picture, red line in the left image represents trajectory of the center of the boundary box. Blue line represents position of the picture in the real world. The center of this coordinate system is a real sense camera. As you can see, if we move another picture, the algorithm calculates trajectory of the moved picture, and the other picture's trajectory is not affected. Now we are going to install libraries and packages to run this program. As a base program we will use YOLO v5 and MoPy. With MoPy, you can track some objects but it will be more convenient if we are able to use trained custom classes. So, we will integrate YOLO 5 and MoPy and then make some modifications to calculate and display trajectory of the objects. Install Python 3 pip. Upgrade PyYAML library. PyYAML is a full-featured YAML framework for the Python programming language. Next install TQDM. TQDM is a Python library that allows you to output a smart progress bar by wrapping around any iterable. Install Cython. Cython is an optimizing static compiler for both the Python programming language and the extended Cython programming language. Now install NumPy. Install libjpeg. libjpeg is a widely used C library for reading and writing JPEG image files. Install Matplotlib. Matplotlib is a comprehensive library for creating static, animated, and interactive visualizations in Python. Install GFortran. GFortran is the GNU Fortran compiler, which is part of the GNU compiler collection. Install 
Install lib open glass. Open glass is an open source implementation of the basic linear algebra subprograms with many handcrafted optimizations for specific processor types. Install LAPAC. LAPAC is a standard software library for numerical linear algebra. Now install SciPy. SciPy is a collection of mathematical algorithms and convenience functions built on the NumPy extension of Python. Install typing extensions. This package enables use of new type system features on older Python versions. Now we are going to install PyTorch. PyTorch will be installed using pip, but for Jetson Nano we need a pip wheel that was built for ARM Arch 64 architecture. Go to this page and download one of the PyTorch binaries from the list. Click the Tringle next to installation label. Basically, we have to copy and execute these commands one by one. Firstly, Copy the link and paste the PyTorch version you will use. In this tutorial we will use version 1.10. Copy the second line and install required libraries. Now install the wheel file we previously downloaded. Now we are going to install Torch Vision. All you have to do is just to copy and paste commands under the Torch Vision label. Firstly, install required libraries. Clone Torch Vision version 0.9 Move to the Torch Vision directory In this line build version variable is set to 0 0.9. By executing this command torch vision build will begin. Install Seaborn. Seaborn is a library for making statistical graphics in Python. It is built on top of matplotlib and closely integrated with pandas data structures. Now we are going to install librealsense. Go to this page. Clone this repository. Move to install RealSense SDK directory. Before executing build lib RealSense shell script, we need to do some modifications to avoid building process stopping due to memory shortage. Go to the install RealSense SDK folder. Open the build lib RealSense shell script. At line, time make j numproc, change numproc to 1. 
Execute build lib real sense shell script. Basically, the installation of lib real sense is complete but we need to do some modifications to make it work with Python. As you can see, the program shows that Python files should be in this directory. But actually Py real sense related libraries are in another place. They are in this directory. So, open the bash rc file. And modify the last line. Source bash rc file to apply changes immediately. Check whether you can import pi real sense normally. Install Fire. Python Fire is a library for automatically generating command line interfaces from any Python object. Install Filter Py. This library provides common filtering and various related optimal and non optimal filtering software written in Python. Now, a few things about Pillow Library. If you run the program and get an error like this, this means that you have not installed necessary libraries before installing Pillow using pip. In this case run these two commands. Then uninstall Pillow. Finally, install Pillow using the no cache deer option. Now you should be able to run the program. Now let's see the code. Firstly, we import the necessary libraries. Here, we specify the back end. Here we set graph properties. Note that we can change direction of the axis by changing value order and set limb function. This is the class where we do inference task. Basically, YOLO v5 source code is used here. In the predict function, we get predictions in tensor format and return boundary boxes coordinates in the image, prediction score and class IDs. Here we run object tracking task. We set real sense image size 424 by 240. In my experience, this is the best image size for Jetson Nano in terms of resolution and performance. Here the image is cropped to make it work with YOLO. As was explained before, images obtained from the real sense are 424 by 240. But for YOLO, width and height of the image should be multiple of 32. So, we cut 4 pixels from the sides and 8 pixels from top and bottom. Here we draw trajectories all tracks. This is the center point of each boundary box in the track. This is the distance from the camera to the center point of the image. If there are no trajectories, a new trajectory is added. Note that we store each trajectory's name and its coordinates as an array. Trajectory coordinates are stored as a queue with limited size. Here trajectories are updated with new coordinates. If there is a trajectory with new ID, we add this trajectory to an array. In this part each trajectory is drawn on the image. And in this part each trajectory is drawn in a three-dimensional graph using matplotlib. To run the program download it from Google Drive. And execute detect and track with RealSensePy script. 